Entrepreneur Shares uh, LLC COO Eva Andos. Eva, this is your 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 holding. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, God, I remember like a couple of years ago you were coming on, and no one that well, no one ever heard of uh, SMCI, right? Only a handful of people knew in Nvidia. And these names have gone up tremendously. I think we've got a typo here. I think we're missing a number because you've had this for about five years. Uh, this should be a zero, we've had maybe, right? For over ten years. Ten SMCI, years. SMCI, five years, and SMC is our biggest holding across all our funds right now. This is your largest holding. Yep. So what happens when you have a stock like this and it goes up twenty percent a day? <laughs> I mean, at some point, right? First of all, when you bought it five years ago and what the company's become now, it's the valuation, the the the, the, the value, the the. The sort of story had to alter somewhat, right? Yes, or did it finally live up to what you thought it would live up to? It did. Actually, it exceeded our expectations. So the importance between those two is that they move together. So they have a very close relationship. Like NVIDIA is up 1,900% over the last five years. SMCI is up 4,700% over the last uh, uh, five years. So what happens is they have a close relationship. SMCI provides high-level servers to NVIDIA and other companies. So when NVIDIA grows, that amplifies the right. growth of SMCI. Right. And th that's the result we're seeing. Now, I've, I've been in this stock many times in the past, right? Uh, one of the reasons I like this is because this guy, this CEO is like best friends with this CEO, too. Just, <laughs> just you know, that's just to sort of put it in perspective. Adnet, um, we're in this stock as well, Pal Palantir. Uh, so do you see these sort of names with the sort of runway that these names have had over the last five, ten years? So the, what's important, though, AI is not amazing all over, right? So if you look at the, the growth rates of all these companies, so, for example, NVIDIA is growing revenues by 57% compared to minus 5% for its peers. SMCI, 39% compared to minus 7% for its peers. So what's going on? They're grabbing all the market right. from all, all the other competitors. There are very few players that are actually doing amazing, and there are many smaller players that are not. So then, I mean, but how long does something like that last? Because we've kind of seen this movie before a little bit. So people are comparing it to the dot-com era, right. right? So, but we're not there, right? We, this time here, we have revenues, we have revenue growth, we have margin expansion. It's a very different market, but it's a stock picker's market. You have to be very careful right. which companies we, you select. All right, so this is uh, the, the allocation of your fund the last time I saw it. Of course, uh, a big chunk of it, 52% Infotech. 8% uh, communication services. A lot of people merge those in when they talk about tech. So uh, I was intrigued by healthcare because this is becoming a larger part of your portfolio. Mm -hmm. Again, you're looking at specific names. When I think healthcare 2024, I'm thinking Eli Lilly, right? I mean, to your point, it sort of distinguishes itself from the crowd. Are there other opportunities? Uh, definitely, because both um, communication services, IT, healthcare, all these are sectors that underperformed in the last year, uh, more in the last couple of years, because interest rates were coming up, right? So right. now we have the reverse. So the corollary stands to us. Interest rates start coming down. Tech, IT, healthcare, communication services, these are the categories that will far outperform the rest of them. And so the, the moral of the story, though, is to, to find these key names, learn the story, more or less, and stay put, stay in them. Definitely, but ex again, be very careful. There are many of these companies that are actually not growing or they're not widening their margins. Right. They're, they're not cutting their SGNA costs. Earnings are, they keep surprising us because in analysts were very conservative. Companies were very conservative. These big players um, had the worst case scenario in their mind. They cut their SGNA costs. Their revenues were not significantly affected. And that, that's what we are seeing with earnings in this season. And, and the bottom line, these moats that they have, you think they last for a little bit longer? Yeah, because they have economies of scale now. It's sad, too, for the smaller companies, right? right? The entrepreneurial companies, the very tiny ones, they have, like, very small chances of competing, but... You never know. If a good entrepreneur, NVIDIA and SMCI, they have amazing entrepreneurs behind them. The SMCI entrepreneur right. is getting $1 right. compensation a year. I remember, I always tell the story, I think, in a video, it was on the cover of Forbes magazine, 2008. It's the company of the year. $12 stock, it went to $1. <laughs> and stayed there for almost 10 years. Of course, if you held, you've been rewarded big time. Great stuff. It's nice great seeing, seeing you. you. You too. Thank you very Thank much. You.